Hello truth seekers and welcome back to our channel, where we unveil the shocking truth behind the glamorous world of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to our channel. Today we're coming back at you with more piping hot tea exposing the Duchess of Deceit's selfish, protocol trampling antics. This time the renegade American actress turned royal defector is in hot water for her brazen plans to blow off centuries of sacred British tradition during an upcoming trip to Nigeria alongside her puppeteered husband, Prince Harry. According to leaked details, Meghan fully intends to break royal protocol left and right during this little jaywalking expedition of theirs to promote Harry's Invictus Games nonsense. Throwing proper decorum and norms to the wind like unrepentant rule breaker she is, Megzilla's modus operandi for this Africa visit appears to be, do whatever the hell I want, screw your antiquated customs. Such a renegade move absolutely reeks of her inflated ego and perpetual thirst for the limelight. But before we delve into the tumultuous waters of this revelation, if you haven't already, do me a favor and hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications. You won't want to miss the explosive content we have in store. So now let's break down some of the specific ways the disgraced former cable TV star apparently plans to spit in the face of the very institution that gifted her with a fleeting taste of global fame and status. For starters, Megan's making the unilateral decision to flat out ignore the long-standing tradition of flying staff and press on the same plane during royal tours. Instead, she's decreed that her and Harry will touch down in Nigeria without a single reporter credentialed to cover them a completely unacceptable violation of public transparency. After all, what could Harry's perpetual plus one possibly have to hide from media scrutiny, if not more nefarious schemes and lies? By sidelining the free press, she clearly is angling to control the narrative and paint an unchecked, victimized, varnished version of events as only she can. It's a brazen suppression tactic, really. The same deceptive playbook Megan used to spread her gospel of woe with that infamous Oprah bitch fest back in 2021. Does this megalomaniac now think she can dictate whether or not royal watchers and media are invited on major outings? The arrogance is staggering. But wait, there's more protocol demolition in store for this unofficial royal tour. According to reports, the petulant princess is also saying a hard no thanks to participating in the customary pomp and circumstance that typically greets royals abroad. Centuries-old traditions like military honors, flag-raising ceremonies, diplomatic ceremonies, Meghan seems to think she's above having to adhere to any of it. Leave it to the rule-breaking duchess to make a mockery of hallowed practices simply because her selfish ass can't be bothered. Does this raging diva really think she gets to decree what ceremonial observances should or shouldn't apply? It's the height of disrespect and a surefire way to give credence to those long-swirling rumors about her ultimately disregarding the very existence of the monarchy itself. At this rate, she may as well just take a knee during God Save the King while feverishly scribbling a new progressive constitution. And just when you thought the sacrilegious slights against tradition couldn't get any more egregious, wait until you hear what Meg the Maniac has cooked up for her actual public appearances and events in Nigeria. Rather than dress and conduct herself with the appropriate regalness expected from a member of the royal family, sources indicate she'll be dressing down and flouting every last remnant of the royal decorum. That's right, reportedly there are no plans for Meghan to make any effort to follow the royal dress code or protocol whatsoever while on her little vanity tour. Instead, she'll be dressed and behaving however her self-indulgent heart desires, with carefully pre-planned outfits solely focused on creating a personal style moment, not upholding institutional dignity. We can probably expect some try-hard nod to African culture with a few tacky caftans of mud cloth wraps sprinkled amidst her trademark blazer and bra cup uniform. Speaking of that sad little costume, you already know Prince Harry will be dutifully dressed down as Meghan's rumpled, ill-fitting shadow for the duration of their travels. Apparently, British nobility only merit properly suiting up when they're on home soil as opposed to respecting their hosts by attending ceremonies suited and booted. Harry is likely to look more millennial life coach than dignified royal, the ultimate show of disrespect towards those welcoming him in their country and communities. Until then, stay tuned for more shocking stories and scandalous exposés on our YouTube channel. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to stay updated on the latest from the world of the royal family. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again with some more fascinating news about the royal family. Bye for now.